Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a new way to unlock your Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Of course, first I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. It is called the Direction Lock. Now, this is not the Pattern Lock that you know about. This is known as the Direction Lock. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, let me power off the device, then turn it on. And as you can see, when I swipe up, it asks me to unlock the device. It's saying, uh, use a fingerprint or draw a series of directions. Let me look at that one more time. Use fingerprint or draw a series of directions. So one, down, up, down, up, down, and boom, we are right inside our smartphone. And that is another way to unlock your Note 8. Let's dive in and find out how to set it up. What you want to do is you want to go to the settings here and then go into accessibility and then look for direction lock tap on it and then you're gonna get a bunch of options now the first thing you want to do is you want to turn this thing actually on now in my case it is already turned on so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this off remove it from my phone come right back to this option to show you how to set it up from the get-go so here's what you're gonna see so it says off let's turn it on and what it's gonna do is it's gonna say use your fingerprint to verify your identity or your iris let me just use my Samsung account really quick and then we'll come right back here. So let's confirm that. And as soon as I do that, it wants me to create a series of directions. So basically, if you read over here, it says draw a series of six to eight directions. Remember this direction lock, it will be required to unlock your phone after restarting. Now just remember when you activate the direction lock, it replaces your pin lock. So you can either use pin or direction lock as your absolute backup. So let's uh, create a direction. Let's just do the same thing. Up, down, up, down, up, and down. Okay, and you can do six or you can do eight. As a matter of fact, let's just add two more and make it eight directions. Click continue. It's gonna ask you to confirm the directions. Again, up, down, up, down. All right, so now we are inside. And of course, it's gonna ask you about your privacy settings. Do you want to hide content and notifications while you're in your lock screen or not? You can configure this if you want. Let's just click done for now. And now we're back in that direction lock screen. It's turned on and as you can see, the screen lock type is in fact direction lock type. If I tap this guy and go inside, I can actually enable other things such as face, uh, iris and fingerprints on top of the direction lock if I desire. I'm just going to keep it uh, with the direction lock for now. Now a couple of things you can do is you can enable vibration feedback so every time you uh, draw a direction it gives you a vibrational feedback and a sound feedback like a beeping sound but you can also have it show directions and also read drawn directions aloud if you so desire which I do not recommend because anybody can hear the directions. So let's just enable that for demonstration. I'll lock the phone, unlock it. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So as you can see, as I was draw drawing the directions, it actually was reading it aloud to me. I don't recommend that, like I said, so just disable that. And now you have access to direction lock. Now, when you turn off the direction lock, let's turn this off. Uh, let's do the pattern. It is the same as when you disable your pin number. It's gonna ask you, do you wanna remove the biometrics data too as you're disabling your uh, direction lock? Uh, I recommend that you tap on keep data and that's gonna ask you to uh, actually back the biometrics data. Make sure to back it up to your uh, Samsung account or create a backup password if you like to stay local and not in the cloud, all right? And then um, remember, when you enable direction lock, it replaces the pin lock. So you cannot have pin lock and direction lock at the same time, but you can have everything else at the same time if you so desire, uh, such as the face unlock, iris unlock, or the fingerprint unlock. All right, guys, and that's it. So make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come. Give this video a thumbs up and also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Saki Tech Online. 
And of course, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just drop them down below. Have a fantastic day.